The GitHub tab can be used to quickly find the URL published on the official docs.microsoft.com website, which spans a multitude of pages now. Simply select either the module, the topic, or both, and click on the related URL. The specific feature from the site loads, and you can explore there in greater detail, as well as see any published images in the official Microsoft documentation. Let's sort the modules alphabetically. Then, Let's pick a few different options to uncover some relevant new features in GP. First, let's have a look at the general ledger. You can see there are four new topics of interest, each with their related hyperlink next door on the right. When I select the new field record, the GitHub links filter down to just that feature. I can click on the hyperlink and it opens my default browser and takes me right to the page in the online documentation. I can now read more and explore the opportunity. Let's close and do some more. How about a stop in the payables module? There are a number of topics here, but I am most interested in a new report. There are actually two new reports. Both came out in the October 2020 release and are both for 1099 reporting. As I explore the new 1099 NEC or non-employee compensation form, it tells us about the changes in GP. Same for the 1099 miscellaneous form that coincided. One hot topic is always security. Always an interesting and challenging area to manage in GP as well. The thing that catches my eye here is multi-factor authentication, so let's go check that out. Keep an eye on this topic and how to set it up for future releases, as modern authentication for sending email from GP becomes mandatory later on this year. One final stop. Let's go down to workflow. You see, there are four topics, but let's just look at the new workflows. If I was going to upgrade to, let's say, 18.2 or beyond, then I would pick up sales transaction approval capability. And that is something I've been waiting for for quite some time. Let's close out and snap back and see all the data by clicking in the blue area right here. I hope this video and the free What's New in Dynamics GP Power BI reports are helpful and interesting enough that you will download a copy for yourself and share it with your GP users and teammates. Getting your upgrade completed and knowing about the hundreds of new features that might apply could dramatically help with your day-to-day -day workflow, enhance audit and control capability, and gain efficiencies that make a real impact in your organization.